lightweight division battle. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu-Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to... Ready. UFC's unofficial home base team of Lorena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC live. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Whiffs on the elbow. Body kick lands right on the elbow. Oh, like that left hand. He's got him over here. Wow. Oh, that one was close. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Goes in and secures the takedown. Sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? That left hook landed on the button. Oh, nice knees to the body here in the clinch. I know you're deceptively fast. I'm going to look for more knees in the clinch out of here in the next one. It's a difficult technique to pull off. Watch this young man land more than one knee to the body. is amazing. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big call punch. Now we're going. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Back to the feet now. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be with him like this, it only exhausts you because every moment he's trying to get up, he goes down as another takedown and take nice. Both fighters back to their feet now. So just over 20 total strikes. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, he might be out. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, he's got his back now. Ten seconds now in round one. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm bow. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can... Round two here. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, that's a big connection. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, McGregor's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a bond flu. He's got the side mount. And now all of a sudden his opponent's in 
trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. Not tapping out tonight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, working out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, now he's in trouble. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. All right, round three coming up next. Third round underway. And that one was heavy. Oh, straight right. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Great timing on that double leg. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Head kick. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find out. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. What a big time takedown. McGregor gets up, but the question is for how long he looks wobbly. Huge knee lands from the Tigers. And he knee, comes through with a big knee. knee hurt him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, right in the mouth. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head. Or he's now the guy's got to get on He's attacking it on him. Recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you and he's out. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs>
deep. There you go. Submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's going to be very. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed in the sport. Big, massive shot land. Look at him come from the. Do you believe it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop this contest at 15 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout.